racing. What's happening? Friday evening. Uh, just come out to the shop. Talon just got home from school. Say what's up, Talon. What's up? So we, uh, let me go out here and find it. Talon's cleaning the shop up right now. We're done with the body. Got all the bracing done. Still got to pull the plastic off the hood. But uh, we're done with the body. Talon is sweeping the floor up. Talon, what are we getting ready to do? Put on the wrap. Put the wrap on. Uh, Eric with Superior Graphics got us our wrap. It came in today. Been using him for a long time, and he's been A1 since day one, I can promise you. Uh, I know he's kind of getting out of the race car side of the wraps, work more on the commercial side of signs and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, he's been he's been awesome. Here's the wrap. Let me see if I can open this. Give y'all a little sneak peek of some colors. Got some baby blue. Neon orange thing gonna be looking good. But got some help coming over tonight. I think Bradley, my brother, uh, my buddy Lane, been helping me since I started racing, and then I think Doe's coming over tonight. But we're gonna we're gonna see what we can get done on the wrap, and what we'll time lapse putting the wrap on. But I need y'all to know now we are not professionals. No. Are you a professional teller? I want to know it's probably, well, last year was really my first time that yeah. I could, like, help. I usually just supervise. Last year was the first wrap I've ever put on dry, and it actually went really well. I, and I'm so scared I'm going to mess it up, but I know some of y'all are probably professionals at it, but we're not. But we're going we're gonna to try to get it on, and we'll time lapse it, and I know it probably won't be the right way to do it, but it'll be the way... Only way we know how to do it, but yeah. we'll catch y'all in a minute, huh? Yeah, tell them give us some tips. Yeah, said give us some tips if y'all know a better way to do it. But we'll see y'all in a bit. got through pulling the plastic off the car. Talon uh, and Tegan done that. But I wanted to, a couple weeks ago, whenever uh, we had showed, it was a few videos ago, probably a month or so ago, Talon was talking about uh, auctioning off uh, one of the sides of his car and for my brother who has cancer well uh, our cousin Tony and Mr. Art from uh, in Texas you know exactly where they are Bob? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure exactly where they live but uh, she told me she'd been looking for a way to donate some money and seen that pop up but <clears throat> it was also she gave she donated or she won the door for $500 I mean I didn't have a clue it was going to bring that. I was thinking maybe 50 bucks or so. But uh, anyway, Talon wanted to do that for his uncle, and it worked out good. And we had some other people donate. So Talon has the money. This is Bradley. Y'all have seen him in my video yeah. before. Uh, uh, fighting, some, fighting some cancer. Uh, we're going to whip it. Yeah. So it was $1,000. Th everybody. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, people donated. And I know he's excited and emotional, but that ain't the only thing. Uh, Talon's got something else that uh, you can go ahead. Tony, she didn't really have no use for the door and or the quarter, so she told me she wanted to give it to Bradley. Oh. So he is getting, she wanted a bow on it. So he is gonna hang that in his shop. Yes, for sure. Uh, I thank you, Tony. I think this boy here is unreal. But anyway, we thought that was cool. She wanted a picture yeah. of him. She wanted a bow on the car, on the door. She was gonna give it to see if Talon wanted it, but we're keeping aside. And then I said, you know, she said, well, what would Bradley, would he want it? And I was like, he really already asked me. And she was like, well, that's perfect. So his yeah. shop got tore up in the hurricane. And when he redoes it, He's got a door to hang up. Talon's yeah, first I door. I got a drop part. I can still hang it up on that drop <laughs> part. That's for sure. I, I appreciate everybody nickel and dime and just prayers. You know, that's the biggest thing right there. But, but 
Anyway, I thought that was cool, but we're about to throw the wrap on the car and we'll put y'all on time lapse and bring y'all along. Thank y'all. Thank you to everybody. Well, we are about 95% done with the wrap. Talon, what you think? Fine. Fine? Yeah. Doe, what you think? Bad as looking free stock in, in, in this area. Hallie? Poor old Hallie's been sick. She got bronchitis or the flu or something, huh, sis? Mama, what you think? Y'all ready to see it? Charlie, there look at you she that. is. I don't know if the video does all oh, just. I've just seen it. The video, don't do it justice. We have some great, great sponsors again this year. We got all we got left is the roof number and the roof name. Show y'all this side. Uh, like I say, the video and the pictures really don't do it any justice. Come here, Charlie. Do you want to you a Charlie, no. can you smile? Hey, hey, sit, sit, smile. He don't want to smile. Hey, I wouldn't say that with us. Like I said, we... No way we could thank all the sponsors again this year. Uh, a lot of sponsors came back. Some didn't, which I completely understand with the way times are these days. And we got some new ones. Uh, I'll show you Elfonto's trucking, Rishard's tire. This is a new one. Making memories. Jimmy and Amy Grundy. Uh, Joel's Auto Sales is back. Another new one. Hudson Motorsports, uh, that's in memory of her uncle and grandpa who died of cancer. Superior Graphics for always being the cleanest wraps. Bernie's Auto and Performance. See, ELE Construction again this year. Big T Motorsports again this year. Christ Church. Uh, let's see what we got on this side. Y'all all know Murphy Oil Company. Uh, the Soda Iron and Metal is back again this year. Another one of our big sponsors, Cypress Big Tech Trailers. Brandon's been with me for a long time. Another uh, two new sponsors right here. Haley and Dusty with HD Transports and uh, Lee Racing, Keith Lee out of Texas and of course Forest Hill Growers. But we got it about wrapped up. Looks good, Talon. We're going to the parade tomorrow? Going to the parade. Going to the, we're going to go to the parade. He said we're going to the parade. But we'll, uh, we'll probably video a little bit at the parade tomorrow, and we'll catch you all later. Bye. All right. It is 11 o'clock. All of our help's gone. Uh, I know we did a walk around earlier, but me and Talon stayed out here and put some tires on it, finished up a few things. All we got left is the uh, rock guard for the dash and to clean up the breather and the uh, hood scoop. Talon, what you think? I think it looks like a lake mall. Huh, they probably can't hear you. I think it looks like a lake mall. He says he thinks it looks like a lake model. This thing is nasty to me. I'll give y'all a little, check this out. I don't know if it gets much better than that for the street stock world. That thing is probably the prettiest car 
we've had. And I'm, sure. I'm huge on just black and white. I've had just black and white cars for, with a touch of gold, but this thing right here, I don't know what to say. It just looks good. All we got left, we're not gonna tackle the roof number tonight. It's gonna be a little trouble with the rounded style roof, but she's on the ground. Talon said he's ready to go test, huh, Talon? Yes. She's a beauty. Thanks to Dougie and Kel for doing this body for us. Uh, Mr. Eric. Huh? I said Mr. Eric for the wrap. Yeah, Eric uh, with Superior Graphics. He, I, I, he knocked this one out of the park, for real. Just what Talon wanted. It's probably, what, favorite modified driver, probably Nick Hoffman and late model driver Davenport and that's their colors, so he's he's pretty fired up about that. Well, who's going to be your favorite late model driver with uh, Hoffman going to the late model world now? I don't know. I like Hoffman. I like his driving style. Yeah, I, I do too. He's he's he can get it done. But anyway, we'll uh, catch y'all up tomorrow uh, at the parade. We'll get a little try to get a little footage there. Throw a little candy. But we'll see y'all. Saturday about noon uh, got to do show you we painted a breather top the rock guard for the uh, up there by his hands and the hood scoop and then we fixing to button that up and then we're gonna take it to the parade she's looking good thanks to Matt for letting me use the trailer uh i hadn't finished my i hadn't finished my enclosed yet and my open trailer is at dougie so kind of a last minute deal when we got the wrap yesterday to go do this but we're gonna knock this out and get it loaded up and go to the parade see y'all